morning and barred at night. I am Walt Whitman. I have come to help you with your paper. You think you can help me out with it? Wait, aren't you dead? Not dead. Floating. Transcended. Come. We have a lot to discuss. Let's go for a walk. Why is it light outside? I thought it was nighttime. The damper that I can drive super into my toe. But oh, the sounds of the day and to be wondering the same afternoon with my face turned up at the clouds. I have embraced you and henceforth possess you to myself. And when you rise in the morning, you will find what I tell you is so. So when are we going to get into this romanticism then? We already are. I celebrate myself. And I assume you shall soon. Writing and talking do not prove me. Romanticism surrounds us. Look around. I believe a leaf of grass is no less than the journey work of the star. Loaf with me on the grass, loose the stop from your throat. Not words or music or rhyme I want, not custom or lecture, not even the best. Only the lull I like, the home of your vowed voice. Here. I took this from your room. It says, no one belongs here more than you. Hey, that's one of my favorite books. I have said this before. For every atom belonging to me, as good belongs to you. What do you like about it? Uh, the characters, how deep they are, each person. Such an interesting way of seeing the world. I relate so well to one another, no matter how different they may seem. I can see myself. I am the, I am the mate and companion of people. All just as immortal and fathomless as myself. Now I laugh content and I hear the voice of my little captain. What'd you do with Walt? It was his time to go. You don't need him here for that long, do you? Oh. I guess not. I was enjoying nature, though. That's good. But you need to come to the dark side. Star Wars? No, no, no. I need to tell you about rom romanticism. Specifically dark romanticism. If you can't understand this, then you will understand nothing. Well... Don't speak. Just listen. And take this damn book you threw at Raven. Harper Lee is not going to help you with any of this. A Mockingbird and a Raven are not the same. Sorry. Silence! Yeah. So the first thing you need to keep in mind, I was born first. Whitman may have lived longer, but I was here first. I had 10 years on him, but he had 33 years on me. Just remember. But the second thing you need to know is what transcendentalism is all about so you can understand me. You see, transcendentalism is essentially a form of idealism. The idea is that the transcendentalist transcends, or rises above the lower, animalistic impulses of life, and moves from the rational to a spiritual realm. The human soul is part of the oversoul. It's the oversoul. The oversoul is what Whitman referred to as the float. It's the universal spirit to which all the souls return at death. I still don't know if I completely understand. I don't have time for all this right now. Read Emerson's essay, The Oversoul, and you will understand everything. Can I continue now? Yeah. Where was I? Oh, yes. One of the most important things about transcendentalism is rather than a concern about the afterlife, there should be a concern for this life. Emerson wrote, 
The one thing in the world of value is the active soul. Another important thing to remember is death is never to be feared, for at death the soul merely passes to the oversoul. As the Rome may tell you later, emphasis should be placed on the here and now. He wrote, give me one world at a time. You mean I get to meet Thoreau too? That's not what is important right now. The here and now, remember? I'm going to continue now. No more interruptions. You see, evil is a negative merely, just an absence of God. Light is more powerful than darkness, because one ray of light penetrates the dark. In other words, there is no belief in the existence of Satan as an active entity forcing humans to commit immorality. Humans are good, and if they do immoral acts, they do so out of ignorance and by not thinking. There's an emphasis on self-reliance, hence an emphasis on human thinking. There's a relationship between all things, and one must have faith and intuition. For no church or creed can communicate the truth. Reform must not be emphasized, for true reform comes from within. I think I'm starting to understand. So what about dark romanticism you mentioned earlier? I was just coming to that. You see, the dark romantics believe that the transcendentalists ignore the darker side of humanity. As a response, dark romantics wrote dark tales of obsession, revenge, shame, and madness to show the readers what was otherwise ignored or hidden. I fit more into this category. See? Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds a little more like your work. It is also, also the work of Hawthorne. He was ashamed by the actions of his Puritan ancestors, so he wrote of the guilt, shame, and hypocrisy. The Scarlet Letter is a perfect example of the shame and hypocrisy in Puritan life. So you see the differences? Yeah, I do. I guess it makes a little more sense now. I couldn't figure out why they were all about what they were all about before. Thanks. No problem. Now, young student, let's get another drink. Hello there. Hello. Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? Well, that's what I was wondering too. I'm a transcendental writer, Henry David Thoreau. Have you not read my book, Walden Pond? I'm sure you have at one point. I may have slept through it once or twice. That is what my critics thought when I first published it. You know, much of Walden Pond and Civil Disobedience was derived from my journal and contained such pieces as greetings in the pond in her winter. So why'd you write it? Similar to the 20th century with Upton Sinclair, the 18th century was an age of multiple free formations, usually a small group of people, like romantics such as myself. We were concerned with social and political inequalities, but unable to make our voices heard to government. How'd you do that? Speeches were read, essays were written, some people, such as my book, completely rearranged their lives, establishing small communities to trick problems in education, family, and class fiction. So I understand why this is also important now. Well, I must get going. I have to patch the patch hole in my wall with mud before another bat flies in. Farewell. Farewell. Thank you.